Now, we know that not enough homes are being built, and that's been the case for years. But the shortage is such that now the very lungs of our cities, our precious green belt, is under threat. And the question is, should we be doing all we can to protect that green belt, or should we be building on it if more of us are to have somewhere that we can call home? Greenbelt is an area of open land around a city designated to prevent urban sprawl and on which building is restricted. The greatest need for homes is in London and the South East, which is also the area that has the most Greenbelt land. Freeing up the Greenbelt is the number one thing we can do to reduce the price of housing, because most of the price of a house is land. What we're facing in the UK isn't just a housing shortage, it's a land shortage. If we make more land developable, just say 5% of the Greenbelt, that will massively reduce the cost of land, and so massively reduce the cost of housing. Therein lies the challenge, as the Greenbelt is seen by many as sacrosanct. This is Wisley near Guildford, 25 miles outside London, and home to some of England's most beautiful countryside. But a housing development is being proposed here, slap bang in the middle of the Greenbelt. Just tell me what it is you're planning to build here. 2,100 homes, <clears throat> 100 of which is a care home, so for retired people. Um, about 40% affordable, up to 40% affordable uh, across the whole, and a mixture of apartments and houses and, and small, small homes. The locals who are against this would say, you are planning to build a brand new small town, slap bang in the middle of our lovely countryside. What would you say to them? Well, it's an area which desperately needs houses. Uh, the Guildford just hasn't been providing enough houses over the last 10 years. Um, and it's the right place to do it. It's got a direct connection straight onto the A3, and it's, within, uh, it's got nine railway stations within five miles. Uh, three bus routes will serve this village. It's, it's a good place to build. Perhaps understandably, many of the locals aren't very impressed with the plans and are joining forces to protect their green and pleasant land. What's being proposed here is outline planning permission, which is just a guide for 2,100 houses, which will probably end up being 3,000 houses by the time they've finished it, um, on this field, which is agricultural land. But it's the scale uh, of this particular development which a lot of people are angry about. And it's not just the scale here, it's all across the whole of the borough. So what you're saying is you don't mind a bit of development as long as it's not here? There isn't a need for 3,000 houses in Wisley. There is a need for homes across the country, but we don't need them here. And actually, Wisley is a tiny little hamlet. You're dumping, you're dumping 3,000 homes on a hamlet that has a population of, of 50 people. There is a desperate need for affordable homes around here, and the developers say they're going to be building some. So, you know, why are you so against that? and how many of those homes are going to be affordable and when the developers have had their way and actually decided it isn't viable to build them for various reasons including their profit then actually they're not going to be building affordable homes here anyway. But you, you, you'll accuse us of being NIMBYs, that's, that's your phrase isn't it? So but what I'm saying you is... You said it. No, I, <laughs> what I'm saying is that this is not my backyard, this is London's backyard, right? So if you don't stop at some point you have no green belt. A decision on whether this Greenbelt development will be given the green light will be made later this summer.